if you've ever wanted to have unlimited ammo as a scout, or maybe you've wanted to have health packs, or the AT rocket gun, maybe those anti-tank grenades that the assault class has while still playing scout, well, you need to head over to the Back to Basics custom game mode that DICE released a few days ago. This is basically standard issue rifles. It's beyond that, though. It takes what is standard issue rifles, meaning when you play in this mode, you can only use the rifle from the Empire that you're playing. So if you're playing the Germans, you're going to get a Gewehr. There's also, you know, the Russian 1895, the SMLE, the Gewehr M95, N98, and the Martini Henry from the few rounds that I played. Those were the weapons that I saw for the standard issue rifles. But this goes so far beyond just standard issue rifles. Because when you go into the classes, you'll see that a lot of your options are actually missing. Like in the scout class, you don't get K-bullets, for example, which is something that I've been using recently. And there are certain types of weapons, like the marksman variants and the sniper variants, that are unavailable as well. You're going to get one of these standard issue rifles in the infantry variant only. And you're also going to be limited to the vehicle types that you can play in the maps. You'll see on the map, as I'm trying to get into the game, that a lot of the vehicles are locked. You don't get the tanks. You don't get the airplanes. You don't get those types of situations. This is called Back to Basics for a reason. And it really does take the gameplay back to a very basic level beyond just standard issue rifles. Now, when I first got into this, I'm thinking, okay, you know, this could be interesting. It could be fun. Let's let's see what's going on here. Let's let's uh, try to get into the game and, and and instead of getting rid of snipers like one of the previous custom game modes, it's pretty much going to make everyone a sniper, but with the infantry variants of the rifles, which is something that I play a lot of anyways. So I figured I could do pretty well. Turns out though that this game mode changes things dramatically. Now, I'm not typically someone that plays the objective very often. I tend to hang out around the outside edges of where the combat actually is because I don't want to get involved in face-to-face -face battles with support class or assault class or even medics most of the time because the rifles that I choose tend to not have a very, very high rate of fire and I'm just not going to win those kinds of confrontations. But in Back to Basics, all you have are sniper rifles. These, what, five different rifles, all of which are the infantry variant? So no matter what class you're playing, you're going to have that rifle. Which means, ultimately, everybody playing the objective is going to have the same type of rifle that you have, or that the enemy has. So there's really no excuse in this case for me to not play the objective. I found myself really wanting to play the objective. It was it was very different than, than what I'm used to because I could get on the objective and I didn't have to worry about the MP18 trench or the Automatico or the Hell Regal or the MG15 low weight. You know, I didn't have to worry about assault and support classes just coming in and obliterating me. Yeah, sure, I mean, I still have to worry about enemy players being on the objective, but it was significantly different than most objective gameplay, and I really, really wanted to be in on the action along with everyone else, because it was the kind of action that I could actually deal with, which made it incredibly fun, but also incredibly chaotic at times. It's a really interesting game mode, and there's a lot of gameplay that I'm going to show you here where it kind of just gets into the real thick of it for, for, for quite a bit of time and shows you just how chaotic it can be trying to get on the objective, trying to use nothing but infantry rifles to, to play this game. So let's sit back for a few minutes and just enjoy some gameplay. Our dreadnought has arrived.
lost Objective George. Sie ein Sanitäter. Munition! Munition für dich! Danke! We have taken objective, George. We have taken objective apples. Oh. We are losing. Wir haben Munition. Wir dürfen das Ziel nicht verlieren. Verteidigt es. Ja, Feindlich, der seid ihr selber. Was gibt's Neues? Hier, Munition. Ich kann mich mal lieber verhandeln! Hier, ich hab ein bisschen Munition übrig! Weiß ich, jetzt habe ich den Täter gesichtet! Ein Maschinengewehr! Now heading into this next round, Giant Shadow, which turned out to be an insanely fun map with this game mode, especially working with the team that basically had the downed airship on lockdown for the most part. We were able to, to, to pretty much hold it. And I, I was thinking about, okay, do I want to keep playing support or do I want to switch over to assault, maybe try to get those anti-tank grenades and the AT rocket gun and all that. But then I realized, okay, well, Maybe Assault doesn't quite make sense because there aren't that many real heavy powerful vehicles. Yeah, you're going to have motorcycles, you're going to have basic vehicles to drive around, but you're not going to have the heavy tank and the artillery truck and, and those other types of real heavy powerful vehicles to deal with. So support might have made sense, you know, to, to get some more ammo and all that. Medic may have made sense to, to heal people. 
But ultimately, I chose to specifically stay away from Scout because, frankly, if I just wanted to play Conquest with a Scout, well, I would just go play Conquest with a Scout. So I chose to stay with the support class for this round because ultimately I like the idea of having unlimited ammo and also the crossbow grenades as a, as a scout. I mean, that, that, that idea is just insanely appealing to me. And so this, this round was a continuation of the same basic setup that I had using the support class with those gadgets, but it turned out to be insanely fun. One of the most fun rounds of Battlefield 1 that I have played to date. It was packed full of action, it was incredibly chaotic at times, it was really, quite frankly, difficult to deal with everything that was happening, but at the same time, it was something that I found myself able to deal with because I was not at a disadvantage in terms of weapons. Everybody on the field was basically given the same type of weapon, even if, yeah, you can say the SMLE versus the Martini Henry versus the Gewehr 98, there are advantages and disadvantages to each of those weapons, especially in the infantry version. But if you know those weapons, if you've played the infantry versions of these scout rifles for any amount of time, then you can very easily predict what the enemy is going to be able to do with these weapons. You don't have to deal with the constant, okay, am I going to run around the corner and get hit by a Hell Regal? Or am I going to get hit by a Lewis gun low weight? You don't have that kind of fear to deal with. You can run around knowing that everybody is constrained to the same types of weapons. And that created a more level playing field in spite of the advantages with the gadgets that each particular class has, and it created an intense and incredibly fun experience. Now again, I want to take a few minutes and just let you watch some of the unedited gameplay here. So let's sit back and watch the next few minutes. Munition here. Objective down. Ich bin verletzt, helft mir! Hier, frische Munition! Mehr Munition! Munition für dich! Ich 
Und jetzt schauen, gerade zu. Danke. Hier, Munition für dich! Hier, Munition! Munition für dich. Danke, Kleiner. Hier, frische Munition. Danke. We have lost objective apples. Hier, ich habe ein bisschen Munition übrig. Braucht jemand Munition? Heraus! Ich hab jetzt einen Vetter! We have lost objective butter. We see an enemy better. That was intense. I mean, seriously, that was one of the most fun rounds of Conquest, especially on Giant Shadow, that I have ever played. This this game mode that DICE put out, this back-to-basics game mode, highly recommended. Above all of the other game modes that I've played, this one is by far the one that I have enjoyed the most for the custom game mode types. Well done, DICE. And if you like the content that I put out in this video, if you like what I'm doing with this channel, do hit subscribe, show me some love in the comments, give me that thumbs up, thanks for watching, and happy gaming. Ich hab jetzt einen Vetter!